Hello everyone, are you guys so excited? I am finally doing my Louis Vuitton agenda setup. This has been a long time in the making, first of all because I've just been really busy, but also because I changed up quite a few things. Um, I've moved my calendar back in here, which if you've ever watched any of my other setup videos, um, you know that I used to keep my calendar separate. So there's just been a lot of changes. So I've been trying to like live with this for a while and see if it is something that I'm really loving and using. And so far, yes, I have really, really been enjoying this system. Um, and it's something that I've stuck with for a while now. So I was ready to film this and share it with you guys. And again, you know, it could change, but for right now, I'm really, really happy with it. So let's get started. All right, so just in case you're new to my channel and you haven't seen um, kind of the reveal and the um, and my initial thoughts on this planner, I will link that video down below. But just really quickly, this is the Louis Vuitton Agenda in monogram matte. So it's the monogram, but it's all um, a single color, which I absolutely love. This was the only um, Louis Vuitton Agenda that I wanted and I had to go on a major mission to find it, but I did. So um, there's more details in that video. And again, I will link that below so you guys can have a little bit more information. It is the MM size, which is um, comparable to a Filofax Personal. Now really quickly, I will just say, even though I'm loving this setup, I am starting to think that perhaps this size is a little bit too small for me. So again, as we go through, I'll kind of show you guys um, the places where I wish I had more room. Unfortunately, this monogram matte print um, only comes in this MM size. It does not come in the GM size, which is Louis Vuitton's version of the um, Filofax A5 size. So I don't know, I'm still kind of on the hunt. I'm also considering a desk agenda, um, which is kind of like a cover for spiral bound notebooks, which you guys know are my favorite. So anyway, we'll see. I'm kind of already thinking about changing things up, but for now, super happy with this. So let me show you guys. All right, it just has one snap closure. And when you open it up right away, you can see that it does not lay flat. That's probably my biggest complaint about this book um, is that it does not lay flat. I This drives me nuts. But you know what, you guys, I've just been taking this and folding it back. I know this is probably like sacrilegious or something like that to treat a Louis Vuitton binder in this way, but I just really have been wanting to use it and make it work for me. So I've just been doing this and after I fold it back, it lays flat enough that I'm happy with it. So it'll at least just kind of stay back a little bit. So in the front, you can see the Louis Vuitton embossed here. This particular binder was made in Paris and it has several card slots and then one larger pocket. Now, I'm not a huge fan of um, filling up these card slots with anything really, just a few um, things that are really special and that I love. So I just have this um, sticky note set. This came from Target, I believe last year. So I just have that up there. I like how the notes sticks out and I do actually really use these um, sticky notes as well. So I just have that. This is a Kate Spade bow paper clip that I just have put um, in this card slot. And then sometimes I keep these page flags in here as decoration, but honestly, sometimes um, I, again, just don't wanna have too much happening. So sometimes I don't even keep these. These are just the target page flags. I cut a flag shape into them and just put some washi tape on a piece of craft paper and again sometimes I stick it in here this is just a sticky note um, like a coral color that I do use so sometimes this is in here like this sometimes this is not in here I mean like I said I don't pay too much attention to this I kind of like it to be clean and simple but for now this is what's happening my dashboard is just a note card from Garance Dore. I absolutely love her and her illustrations and I really, really like this design. Someone was kind enough to send this to me so I just um, cut the front off and laminated it. You can see that it is like smaller than my dividers um, but I just use this as a dashboard. It is laminated but I did put um, a piece of washi tape up here just because I thought it was pretty. And I just have some important dates um, washi taped to the back of this. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, the rings are silver and I absolutely love that the rings are silver. Um, I'm really happy with that. I think it goes great with the navy. 
Oh, I guess I also did not mention that the binder is navy. I know in some lights it looks um, gray or black, but it is actually navy. And the rings are also huge. They are um, larger than the Filofax rings for sure. I just feel like when I hold this binder, I feel like it is more substantial and actually really thicker. So, um, and it's a little bit more square. I do, again, have a comparison video between the um, Louis Vuitton Agenda, a Filofax Original, and a Kiki K planner. So if you're interested in dimensions and more information on sizing, I have all that in a video, which I will um, link below. But anyway, silver rings, and they are large, and I love them. My dividers I made, I originally was just going to have um, plain navy dividers, and then I actually um, kind of got in touch with the team at Garense Dore and um, was in touch with them and just kind of had some emails back and forth and then um, just kind of mentioned that I loved her art and I was trying to like think of creative ways to use it. And so anyway, they gave me permission to use her art um, for my personal use on my um dividers that I made. So you will see some of her drawings um, on my dividers and don't worry, I did get permission to use them. Um, obviously not for sale, just for personal use. But one thing I will mention, I absolutely loved the way my dividers turned out um, when I made them, but after I laminated them, um, I just, I don't know, my lamination is obviously like a little bit shiny. And I think I just wanted a little bit more of a matte look. So I love the dividers, but I don't love exactly how they turned out. You can out. even see here, like the laminator kind of messed it up a little bit. So anyway, these are just temporary dividers for now. Even though I do love them, they're not my most favorite. Um, you will see that I do not label my dividers. I never have. I like to switch things up. So I don't ever label my dividers. And um, you may notice that they are kind of different than the like standard Filofax. And that's because I used the Kiki K dividers um, as my template. So the tabs get larger as you um, go on. So, okay, my first divider is kind of like a notes um, to do, just random section. Um, I don't keep my to-do lists every day. That was part of the reason why I stopped using a bullet journal. I felt like um, hanging on to, to my to-do list was making me feel a little bit bogged down. So I um, just started implementing a system where I throw my to-do list away every day and honestly it makes me very happy to get rid of them. Um, hopefully I've accomplished everything on it, but if not, I still throw them away and make a new one every day. But for the sake of forward planning, I do keep these um, sheets in here and they just are labeled with the month. So this is my April 2015 and then May 2015 and so on. And I just write things in here that I know must be accomplished that month so that I don't kind of lose track of them. I'm not really into decorations at the moment, just really simple. I have a piece of washi tape. My absolute favorite stickers um, that I ordered from overseas via, I believe, either eBay or Etsy. And again, just really simple. All of my pages, you will notice, are white. I mentioned this in my planner piece video, but the hodgepodge of like notepads from the Target dollar spot and different colored papers and things like that were driving me crazy. So I took all those out and now I just use white paper. I just bought a ream of copy paper and cut it down and hole punched it. And I have tons of paper. I don't feel bad about you know ripping something out. Um, I have plenty of it and I really enjoy that clean aesthetic. So that is the paper that I've been using. So anyway, um, I just make a monthly list and I'm able to kind of keep track of things for forward planning, not necessarily dates, because I do keep all of my month on two pages in here, but events and to do things that I know must be taken care of during a certain month, I will put on here. Again, these are not my daily to do's, but just forward planning um, to do's for each month. So those are the first things that you see um, when you open up this section. And then what I did was take the A to Z tabs and I just put a, just like a plain, oh, actually I have them back here, I'll show you. 
just these plain little white um, stickers. I just put them over the tabs and cut them out. And I was able to really um, easily relabel the A to Z tabs, but also I can easily change them as well. So I'm using dividers within my dividers and that is a new thing for me. I'm not quite sure if it's um, too excessive or if it's helping me stay even more organized, um, but for now, I do like that system. I enjoy um, kind of breaking down each section a little bit more with these dividers. So this one is a to-do note section, and this is just kind of my random list of things that I either need to research or look up or just something that comes to mind if I have a daily download session and I need to kind of write down everything that's in my head. Um, these are notes that I don't care about if they're messy. I might stick a um, sticky note in there. You know, it's just really quick download um, of things that are in my head or things that I come across, something that I wanna investigate further. Whatever it is, those all go into this to-do um, note section. The hope is that this is not um, a permanent place for thoughts and ideas. It's more of just like a transitory, you know, write things down in there and then assign them to a different section or deal with them and move them out of this book. So um, the pages, again, hopefully are not in there for very long and they're, they can be messy because I'm just tearing them out and throwing them away. So the next divider is my projects tab. And this projects tab is really for just whatever projects I have going on that I'm trying to deal with that are not work related. So I'll show you guys an example. I'm actually changing houses. I had to cover this up because I had my um, street on there. But anyway, I'm um, moving and with the, you know, move and change of houses, there's things that um, I kind of just need to keep track of. So this is kind of a project to me. A move is a project. Um, so I'm just kind of keeping track of things in here for that. Next is the buy tab and this is for my wish list and online orders. So um, you can see I just kind of been keeping track of my online orders and I don't really differentiate between wish lists and online orders. Usually if there's something that I need to get or want to get, um, it's something that I will usually order. Um, so like for example, I need to get an espresso machine. So um, I just kind of have that on here. I haven't ordered it yet, but when I do, I'll just fill in the um, date and the website and the amount and things like that so I can keep track of when it arrives. And then you can see here's just like a really quick little sticky note that the other day I was thinking about a couple of things that I needed to order. So I just jotted the, them down really quickly on a sticky note and put that in here. Um, again, these pages are not meant to be like permanent in here. Um, I think a lot of the reason why I was, um, again, not finding a system that I liked is because I felt like I was carrying too many things around with me that were unnecessary. And so the idea of being able to just um, deal with something and get rid of it and get it out of the book has been really appealing to me. And again, this is part of that. So the last section is lists, and this is something that is a little bit more permanent. Um, I'm keeping track of just books that I want to read, um, books that I have read. I need to update this because I've read um, a couple more books since then. So um, I guess of all my sections, this is kind of the most permanent, um, is this list section. And that's really the only thing I have in there for now. Um, and again, another piece of paper. All right, next is my calendar. And again, as I mentioned, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that for um, a really long time, I liked to keep my calendar separate from um, this book. And I used to think of this as kind of like a resource or admin book um, that I would just kind of access here and there. And then my calendar was something that I would keep with me at all times and was always kind of working in. Well, I decided to put my calendar back in here and I'm so, so happy with it. Um, that decision was initially made because I loved this Louis Vuitton agenda so much that I wanted to be using it every single day. So that was initially why I decided to put my calendar back in and ever since I have been loving it. So when you first open up, I usually keep just a couple of pages of neon paper in here. And I know these are not um, the white pieces of paper that I told you guys I like to use, but this is really the only exception to my rule. I use these colored neon pieces of paper 
for um, kind of either daily to-do lists or um, if I need to kind of plan out. Sometimes I need to write down exactly um, hour by hour, minute by minute what I'm doing. Sometimes my weekends um, are so jam-packed that I need to make a list of everywhere I need to go and what I need to do. So these are essentially just um, scrap pieces of paper that I am using to kind of help me plan better. This is kind of the first indication that I need more space because I have been having to use these a lot and really I have just been kind of inserting them in the middle of my week on two pages. Um, and using them as more paper. So um, there is a chance again that I'll be moving to an A5 because I'm finding that I just you know don't have the space. But um, for now, this has been my solution. These are just um, pages from a notepad that I got at the dollar store. I love them. They're all different kinds of um, colors of neon paper. And I just hole punched them and used um, my corner rounder to um, round the corners. And I love them. Striped Heart was sent to me by by my friend Florence who is Florence Antoinette here on YouTube I know many of you know and love her and she's so so kind um, she very sweetly sent this to me so I'm using this to block off my months so when you just flip to it this goes straight to the month that I'm on I am using Kiki K for my monthly inserts um, do I love them? No, but they're working for me right now. I just, again, don't really know what I want as far as my monthly setup. I don't like having a note section here. I wish that the boxes were bigger, but um, for now, it's okay. As you guys can see, I put a sticky note on every month. Um, I pretty much do that on every single month and just if there's something I know, again, that's happening that month that I need to address, I'll write it on the sticky note. Um, I haven't even filled in the month of May yet. Things have just been, last month was really, really busy for me, like crazy busy. So um, I'm just kind of, really I felt like I was surviving day to day, um, week to week as far as my schedule went. So um, I haven't even really properly planned things out, but um, this, is, this has been helpful for me. So anyway, as you can see, my decorations are very minimal. I mean, I just have one sticker on here, have some washi tape um, blocking out like some holiday time. I have one piece of colored washi tape at the top. I'm just using my um, monthly pages to keep track of what videos I put up. I kind of use it as an editorial calendar, but not really. I mean, I try to plan things out. Um, I do color code, so these orange dots are for my, um, kind of, I sit on the board of directors for a couple of different organizations and all my like community service related um, activities are orange. So I don't write the whole activity on there, I just put an orange dot so that I know that something community service related is happening those days. Um, most likely it's a board meeting. So um, I just, I, I usually know when they are, but I like to just keep them on here. Again, blue is my social media. I do keep track of people's birthdays and you know, if I have a friend in town or something like that. Um, but for the most part, that's really all I keep on this monthly calendar. Here's another look. I'm just, again, using sticky notes to put important dates in here. I'll be in LA um, in August. So these are Kiki K sticky notes I just put in here. And then um, as time goes on and I get closer to the month, I kind of plan it out and write these more permanently. Um, as long as I know that they are happening, I'll put them in the month. So then after the months, we move on to my week on two pages. And these are old Kate Spade inserts from 2009 that my dear friend Diana sent to me um, Diana has become a friend of mine through the Louis Vuitton um, planner group on Facebook and she's in the Kate Spade one as well. She is just such a kind-hearted person. I seriously feel like um, every day I see someone posting about something nice that Diana has done, a rack that she sent or you know just things like that. She's just so kind but anyway I was looking for um, week on two page inserts and she very kindly sent these to me. These are the Kate Spade ones from 2009. Um, and you can see here, you know, it says 2009, but the way the dates have worked out, they fall on the same days um, now in 2015 as they did in 2009. So I don't have to, you know, white out any dates or anything like that. I don't have to change anything. They work perfectly. And honestly, I don't even see the 2009 up there. Like my, it doesn't even register in my head. It doesn't bother me at all. So I don't do anything to these. I just leave them as is. Um, I love the paper. 
I love the quality of them. I think these are better than the um, Kate Spade inserts that I had in 2000. I think 13 I had those inserts and I didn't like the, the paper then, but these are great. I love the lines down here. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. I'll show you guys a couple of my week spreads so you can kind of see how I've been using them. Um, but the only thing I did was, again, round the corners because I'm just really into rounded corners right now. So I just have a um, corner punch from Joann's that I've been using. And yeah, I really like this layout right now. So let me show you guys um, my current week. All right, so here's my current week. I'm filming this on a Monday, so hopefully this will go up tomorrow. But I just have this dashboard that um, I made out of vellum paper that I laminated, hole punched, and then cut slits into it so that it will um, come off easily. It is see-through, but I have so many things stuck on it right now that you can't really see through it. So um, here is what the kind of week looks like without this in it. And again, like I said, when this is in here, you can see through it. Hopefully that's showing up on camera, but um, I can see my lines perfectly. So I use this as a dashboard. I keep kind of a um, daily do and a daily go list. So um, these are all the things that I need to do today and then the places that I um, need to go. And I keep on the back right now, I have a film and edit list. So um, of my YouTube videos that I need to film and edit. Um, I do have a social media section that I'll show you guys, but I just kind of like to have these um, at the front of my mind and when I see them, I feel like I get them done easier than just flipping to that section. So these are things that I wanna get done um, as soon as possible, so I put them here. This is a Martha Stewart tab that I just covered with um, silver washi tape and I stuck it to this so that it's essentially like a page marker and I can just flip to this week. So because this is the beginning of the week um, and I don't have a lot filled in, let me show you guys last week and kind of how I do fill everything in. So here's a look at last week. As you can see, I don't do a lot of decorating. It is a bit of a hodgepodge and honestly, I don't have a system yet that I'm loving for these pages. Um, like I said, I don't put daily to-dos on here. Sometimes I like to keep track of like lunches or um, you know, if something really ha important happened, like I mailed out um, a couple of different things and I wanna kind of keep track of that. Um, I do keep track of appointments, but I don't know. Again, I don't have a consistent system that I use. Um, again, with the decorating, like we went out to eat and this was my fortune, so I just kind of stuck it in here. Um, but it's not like a huge deal for decorating for me. I just put this little pear sticker on there because I think he's cute and a piece of washi tape. So that's really the extent of it. These heart stickers are just um, covering up a few things, so they're not even, they don't even stay. But really, like, you know, I needed to confirm with my accountant on my taxes, so I used a Martha Stewart Dew Drop for that. Um, again, I, you know, had lunch and so I tried to draw a piece of pizza and that was about the extent of it. Um, I put an envelope when I mailed something. I do keep, um, appointments in here, but I don't have a way to kind of distinguish my appointments. I think I need to write them on the left and write events or things that I want to keep track of on the right. You know, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have my social media in here. Again... Things like, you know, getting my car detailed. So these are the things that I'm keeping track of right now in here. I am keeping track of appointments, which honestly are the most important things. Things that are kind of like events that happen, like, you know, ordering in lunch or whatever, listers got a list um, beginning, things like that um, are not necessarily things that I have to keep in here and they are kind of cluttering it up. So maybe they're things that I'll move out. Um, I will hopefully show you guys soon my project life update. I'm hoping to do that next week, actually. Um, and I and I kind of want to put these things in my project life book so that they aren't cluttering up um, my calendar section. But we'll see. So that was last week. Let me show you guys the week before. These are the dividers, um, the pictures that are on the um, Kate Spade dividers. So I thought that was pretty how they kind of separate the months. And then here's a look at the week before. Again, you can see my decoration is very minimal. I mean, a piece of washi tape. I might write on, um, you know, a sticker or something. I have been keeping track of what I spend throughout the week. Um, I need to update that. But um, 
you know, I try to kind of keep track of it. I don't have a budgeting system um, solidified and that is something that I want to work on. So I've been trying to just kind of look at what I'm spending. So sometimes I write that here. Sometimes I'll write a quote. Um, I'm using one of my Reset Girl stickers to um, signify that I had a library book. There's another Reset Girl sticker. It says, don't forget. Um, I had an appointment. I had a lot of things change. So there's some white out here. Um, I, I color code, but I don't like to write in colored ink. So um, I just use colored dots next to whatever the event is. So again, as you guys can see, things are really simple. This week I started to write more things on there and I think it got a little crowded, but in general, I do like it. I will, for the most part, write on these pages. I wanted these week on two pages um, to be in here so that I could just use them and not be afraid and not um, think that they had to be perfect. So that's why I'm kind of just using them and not worrying too much about decorations and things like that. I wanted to really get to the heart and the, um, the essential part of planning, which is actually keeping track of my life. So, you know, I mean, I tried to draw a little house when the cleaners came, but that's, that's about the extent of it. All right, let me keep moving on because I feel like this is getting so long. So next section is social media. I love that this girl has her camera um, and that's why this is my social media section. I just keep um, video ideas here and just notes for planning out videos. I keep my statistics in here. Um, I really love all the social media projects that I do. Um, this is, you know, again, not my job, but it's something that I really love. And so I, it is important for me to have a section kind of dedicated to that. Um, so this is just all my fun social media stuff goes in here. The next divider is a new section for me, and this is my money makers section. Now I do not keep, um, all of my like real work stuff in here. Uh, each of my work projects have their own binders. Um, I have a Filofax original A5 in fluoro pink that I use for my salon. Um, most all of my consulting and real estate work is on my computer. I don't have paper um, documents for that, but there are certain things from each of my businesses that I do want to keep with me in this binder. So I decided to add one divider for all of the um, money makers or all of my like businesses that I do. So um, I have my real estate tab, my salon, and then all of my consulting work. Um, and so again, these are my three like main sources of income. And I just keep, again, pieces of paper in here that have like notes on them or maybe important account numbers. Again, they are not like the extensive things that I keep for each one, but you know, maybe I'm out and about and I have an idea or I have a meeting with someone and I've forgotten something or I meet someone and I wanna remember them because I wanna work with them, you know, whatever. I just keep the notes and things like that in here. And then for the most part, they get transferred um, into whatever appropriate place they belong. I do not keep any of my um, legal work, you know, anything that is in, that involves me being a lawyer or, you know, when I have that hat on, um, all of my legal work, nothing is in here just because of um, confidentiality and privacy and things like that. Everything's on a computer. So I, I don't even have a section for that. I don't keep that stuff in here, but um, you know, all the real estate development and um, things that I do, the salon and then the consulting, like I said. So those are my tabs. I always get tons of questions about what I actually do and my entrepreneurship story. Um, I did answer that a bit in a Q and A video, but if that is something that you guys are interested in, um, then certainly leave me a comment down below or thumbs up this video and let me know. Um, I can talk to you guys more about um, kind of my path to entrepreneurship. I know that I get that request a lot. So if it is something that you'd like me to do, then just let me know and I can kind of talk through that with you guys. So anyway, money makers section. All right, the next section is my admin section. Now I mentioned this briefly in my planner piece video, but I used to have a separate admin and a separate finance section. And I realized that I wasn't really accessing admin or finance very often. So I decided to combine the two and um, I've got them under one divider now. This is for, again, my finances, as well as addresses, passwords, um, birthday lists, I view all of that as admin type things and I keep them all together. So I have 
three little dividers in here and you can't really see them because I have this um, top loading envelope that's covering it. But the first one just has a dollar sign and that is again my finances. Most all of my bills are just automatic withdrawal every month, but I do still like to check at the beginning of the month and make sure everything is set up correctly. So um, that's really all that's in here. I also do keep track of like passwords and um, information for all those different um, financial accounts in this section. Then my um, next tab just says PW and that is um, passwords and just any kind of information that I need to access different accounts. Um, I keep my personal and business in here and I do keep this piece of like kind of lilac paper over it so that if I am out somewhere and I flip to this section, I don't want all my information to be the first thing that you see. So this piece of blank paper always stays here. And then this last tab, I hope you guys can see, I just drew a little party hat and then a little um, cute little happy mail envelope. And this is for addresses and um, birthdays. I keep a birthday list in here that I reference kind of at the beginning of every month. And um, also addresses for like racks that I like to send out and my planner buddies and things like that. I All right, and my final section is kind of like an inspiration or me section. I've had this in other planners and other setups before and I kind of just take it in and out when I change, but um, right now I'm keeping this section in my planner and I do really like it. I kind of use it to house all the um, things that have to do with like personal development or inspiration or self-care, just things that are my own personal projects that I'm working on or things that I'm thinking about. So all of those go in here. Right now, um, I've shared with you guys that I'm using an Erin Condren for my morning routine and for meal planning. So these are things that are like really important to me right now. So I've been including those, um, just kind of planning things out in here. I have some notes on the morning miracle. I have my simplify sticker from the reset. Girl. Which if you guys missed that video, how amazing that sweet Corey made stickers um, inspired by me, which I think is amazing. Simplify is my word of the year and Corey designed those stickers um, kind of in my honor, which I think is awesome. So um, I'm just really, really um, humbled and flattered by that. So I have that sticker up there. Again, just things that I'm, kind of inspired by or that I'm focusing on, things that are motivating me. Maybe if I have a goal that I wanna work on, I kind of put all of that in here. And then I do have um, a little tab here to separate out quotes. And I just keep different quotes that are, um, again, motivating and inspiring me in there. The last thing is a top loading envelope. This just has a quote that says, a lot can happen in a year. I just wrote that on a craft paper sticky note and put it in this there. This is one of my most favorite fortunes that I've ever gotten. It says, you need not worry about your future. I just really love that. This gold thing is a tab that I made. It's just glitter washi tape. Um, and these are actually, so this tab is part of this white cardstock that these are, um, taped on. On the back are my makeup stickers. I absolutely love these. I think they're adorable and I just like to look at them. I'm so happy that so many of you have ordered them as well and that you guys are loving them as much as me. They're just so cute. I absolutely love them. So I just keep them back here and sometimes look at them. And then I've just got a clear dashboard, which I kind of use as a page lifter. In this back pocket, I just keep some of these white, um, stickers that I love. If I mess up something, I will kind of put this over it. I use them, like I said, to make those um, tabs. I will use them as my editorial calendar. They're repositionable. I got them from Walmart. Absolutely love them. Just some different sticky notes that I use, stamps, and then this Project Life card um, from the Heidi Swap collection. My dear friend Jess sent to me. She is so sweet. Um, I became friends with her. Um, she followed me on Instagram and then we became friends in the planner groups. And when I got my new Louis Vuitton, um, she just sent these to me just because she's so sweet. So I love it. So right now it's um, in this back pocket, but sometimes I use it in the front pocket as another dashboard. So sometimes I'll put it in here and then I just have this nice um, laminated space that I can stick sticky notes on. So sometimes it um, lives in there. And then my pen, really quickly, I get a lot of questions about this. I um, showed you guys this in a haul video. 
I bought this pen originally just because it was white and I loved the design. This is the Pentel Energel. It is a gel ink, but it dries really quickly. It's the Needle Tip 0.5. It's a clicker. I absolutely love this pen. Love it so much. Um, it fits pretty nicely in this pen loop, so um, I just keep it with me at all times. And then just really quickly, I wanted to show you guys on the go, um, I've been using this gold pouch to house some of my planner supplies. I shared with you guys, um, I got this pouch from the H&M in Paris, and it just holds a really special place in my heart, so I love it and um, wanna use it as much as possible. Sometimes I use it as a pouch in my purse, but right now it's holding my planner supplies, and I just keep my Stadler pens that I use for color coding and just like a couple of rolls of washi and stickers and all that stuff. So um, that's really all I take with me if I am planning on the go. Um, not all, but for the most part, this is what I reach for um, the most. So that is it. That is my entire setup in my Louis Vuitton agenda. I hope that this was helpful for you guys and you enjoyed getting a little peek at how I am staying organized for now. Again, I'm sure that this will probably change, but for now, I'm really liking this system. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I would really love it if you're not subscribed already, if you would please subscribe to my channel. And um, if you wanna know more about my entrepreneurship story, don't forget to leave me a comment or thumbs up this video. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm so grateful for all of your support. You guys make this a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I wanna talk to you guys today about planner piece, the Elise